Hi, I'm Cheryl Najafi with Everyday Dishes, and today we're going to make einkorn Dutch oven bread. In a small bowl, combine the yeast and water. Whisk it well to thoroughly dissolve the yeast. Add the flour and stir to form a thin batter. Cover the bowl with plastic and let it sit for an hour at room temperature. Place the sponge in the refrigerator for at least 8 to 12 hours, but no longer than 24 hours before making the bread. Remove the sponge and let it warm to room temperature. Add the remaining yeast and sugar and let it sit until it starts to bubble, approximately 5 to 7 minutes. In a large bowl, add the salt to the flour and fully combined. Adding salt directly to the sponge will kill the yeast. Add the sponge to the flour mixture and stir it until it begins to come together. Flour your hands and knead the dough until you have a smooth texture, but only for about two minutes. Very little kneading is necessary. Let the dough rest for 10 minutes. Form the dough into the desired shape, a ball or an oval, and transfer it to a cookie sheet coated with cornmeal. Cover the dough with a large glass bowl, then a towel to keep the light out. Allow the dough to rise for approximately 40 minutes. Make sure you check it early to make sure it's not overproofing. When you start to see bubbles forming on the loaf, it's ready and it's better to underproof than to overproof. Now preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Place a large Dutch oven and its lid in the oven to preheat. When the dough is ready to bake, make three slashes with a sharp knife in the bread to allow for expansion during baking. Carefully remove the hot Dutch oven from the oven and slide the bread into it. Return it to the oven with the lid on and bake for 20 minutes. Then remove the lid and bake an additional 13 to 15 minutes. The bread will sound hollow when tapped and be at an internal temperature of 200 degrees. Invert the bread onto a rack to cool. Now you've got pure bread satisfaction.